Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. A Midland Middle School student arrested after allegedly making threats toward other students. Now, it happened Monday at Northeast Middle School. According to Superintendent Michael Sharo, the school contacted Midland Police immediately. Police are now investigating that threat and say the threat involved the use of a firearm, but they have found no firearms and believe the student does not have access to any. The student was taken into custody. Anyone with any information is asked to please contact Midland Police at the number right there on your screen. It's 989-631-4244. Well, police have yet to release details about a deadly shooting Wednesday in Saginaw County's Tamath Township. State troopers responded to the scene just after 10 yesterday morning on Rathlin Road near Morsh. Investigators say that the man with a gunshot wound died at the scene. The woman has been arrested. Well, the state announcing the launch of the Job Court Employer Engagement Survey. It's a next step in the rollout of Job Court. It's a pilot program to give up to 450 eligible dependents accused of low-level crimes an opportunity to obtain employment. The survey is an online tool available for businesses and organizations interested in hiring Job Court participants. Participants will be matched with employers to receive good-paying jobs and the opportunity to dismiss eligible charges after completing that program. The program is currently available for residents in Genesee, Wayne, and Marquette counties. Well, now here's John Gross with a look at your forecast. Thank you very much, Colette. Let's talk about your Thursday, and it's going to be a little bit of a wet pattern as we go later into the afternoon and evening. Let's go ahead and show you the hour by hours, and your wind's also going to be changing direction, too. Notice those wind arrows right there. Maybe we're going to keep it from the southwest starting this afternoon. As we go later into today, our winds take more of a northerly jog. That's going to help to bring in a much colder air mass as we go later into tonight. Let's track out the rain for you. Northern communities right there, 2, 3 o'clock, see the rain first that advances a little bit further to the south so areas near the tri cities mount pleasant tip of the thumb i think closer to dinner time you have that better chance for some showers and then south and east of the tri cities areas near genesee county uh, later into the evening eight nine even near ten o'clock still could be talking about a few of those showers along a cold front now as that passes overnight tonight winds again change more towards the north we're going to talk about some lake effect showers as we get into the day on friday so closer to the lake shore throughout the thumb into friday morning and into the early afternoon i think that better time frame will hold for some of that activity but once we go later into the day on Friday overnight Saturday we get more of a westerly component to the wind. I think that's going to help to kick out any lake effect showers and start to help clear out our skies too. I think we will bring some sunshine back for the weekend. Small craft advisory still will hold along that front because the winds are going to be picking up here later into tonight. Waves as high as near six to nine feet. Boating conditions probably not going to be the best. So just keep that in mind over the next 24 hours. There you go into the next seven past the weekend into next week. It does look like we will get a little bit of a warm up and the weekend at South, not looking too bad too. Still going to be a little bit cooler, but at least we will be talking about some sunshine Saturday and Sunday. In the first Warren 5 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist John Gross. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.